Polish crusade against the Ottomans. What? Hello everybody and welcome back to Underrated Nations in EU4, the series where we look at countries that are often overlooked and not chosen in favor of more popular choices. And I am the chairman and today we are going to be playing the nation of Pomerania. Well, not exactly actually. You see, Pomerania doesn't exist at the start of the game, but there are two, three nations that actually have Pomeranian ideas. What makes this country overlooked or not a popular choice? Well, they're right next to big boy Brandenburg, of course. I mean, you know, the country that's going to go on to form Prussia and be this military powerhouse and dominate East, you know, Central Europe, pretty much. While Brandenburg is basically the bully of Central Europe, Pomerania and Wolgast is essentially the bank of Central Europe uh, with ideas that are built around trade. So looking at their ideas, we get morale of armies plus 10%, light ship cost minus 20, global trade power to finish it off. We get privateer efficiency plus 15%, embargo efficiency plus 10%, uh, an additional merchant, 25% trade steering, tolerance of heretics plus 2, mercenary maintenance minus 15%, trade efficiency plus 10%, and naval force limit modifier plus 25 percent while brandenburg is more focused on their land army pomerania and mecklenburg wool gas Staten, which all share the same ideas as pomerania is more focused about dominating trade in the baltic in lubeck and maybe even on a global scale if you decide to go down that route we're going to go for three goals today for one we're going to form pomerania's wool gas for two we have to conquer the entirety of the Lubeck trade node, as that is our home trade node here. And then our third goal is to make Lubeck the most valuable trade node uh, by the time that global trade starts. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead, hop right into it, and let's uh, play as Wolgast into Pomerania. Okay, and here we are as Pomerania. We start off, well, wool gas. We start off with 6k troops. One of them is a horse. We are going to get rid of them right away. We are also going to try and buddy up with Poland here. Uh, typically, Poland likes to intervene in Pomeranian politics. So uh, we got to make sure we get a handle on that right away. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead, build up to our force limit of 8. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our estate stuff here. So of course, we're going to hand out all the monarch uh, privileges along with the advisor boards. Patronage of the Arts, Commercial Advisory Board, and Dead to the Burgers for them. Military, well, the Nobility, we are just going to do these two privileges here. And then for the Clergy, I am going to go with uh, Religious Diplomats, because we are in the HRE. Now, Poland, we can marry right off the bat, so let's go ahead and do that. Also forgot to summon a Diet and seize land. Of rivals, uh, let's see, we got Hamburg, Livonian Order, Mecklenburg, and Stetten. Both all four of those rivaled us, so we're gonna do Mecklenburg, Stetten, and uh, we'll do Hamburg. Could also ally Brandenburg right off the bat, uh, but instead, we're actually gonna Royal Mary Austria. In terms of a ruler, we have a 2 3 3. He is a griff, he is a lawgiver, benevolent, and a scholar. Our heir is also a 1 2 3, he likes to count. Uh, we have an inspiring leader, so not too bad in terms of general stats. Let's see. Our ruler's really good in siege, and overall they're just kind of okay. So I'll put my heir in charge of the army. Uh, in terms of money, we are making a little bit of money here at the start. 1.12 ducats, so, uh, let's get this Diplo rep guy again. We are playing as a member in the HRE, so we gotta make sure that uh, we kinda don't get coalition, especially since we're gonna be conquering the entirety of Lubeck. And yeah, I'm just gonna go with the one advisor here. Our ships, we start off with two trade ships. Uh, let's go ahead and tech trade in Lubeck. Well, let's get it rolling. Okay, and in order to form Pomerania, we just have to own Staten, pretty much. Once we do that, we can form Pomerania, and we get base tax and wool gas the province and you know all this other stuff but um yeah we do also have a small little mission tree here we actually get unite wool uh pomerania which then gives us permanent claims on mecklenburg here uh then 
land also on the provinces in the Teutons and on Brandenburg. We also get, yeah, again, permanent claims here, also on Lubeck, control Middlemark, so taking out Brandenburg, strength and old ties. You get a cavalry combat ability plus 10% for the rest of the game, along with 20 prestige, and then, you know, permanent claims on West Prussia here. And then once we own all those provinces there, we get a permanent claim on East Prussia, morale of armies, plus 10, and power recovery speed, uh, plus 20 for 20 years. Once we own these provinces here, we get global trade power, plus 10, trade steering, plus 20. And then completing this mission, having at least 25 galleys, uh, basically a bunch, having a large navy, along with wool gas being, having 50% or more trade power here, we get permanent claims on all of Denmark. Not too bad. Brandenburg, I'm not going to ally just yet. Austria, I'm going to, again, I'm going to see if I can't ally them. And I've been warned by the Teutons. Uh, Teutons, my man. I don't think you want to do that. Oh, you are allied to uh, Stettin, though. Teutons are allied to Denmark, Mecklenburg to Hamburg. Lunenburg, uh, do I want to be your friend? You know what? Yeah, let's be friends. Why not? And Gotland is a pirate republic and is raiding my coast. Okay, and we did just link up with Austria. And Poland just chose a local noble instead. Great choice, Poland. Could also ally Lithuania, which might not be a bad idea. We'll actually get some pretty big allies here. So we're going to, even though we don't have Poland Lithuania in their entirety, uh, well, where Poland rules over Lithuania, we do have them uh, separately. So we actually have three big allies and then we have Lunaburg. So Lunaburg, you're kind of the odd one out here. I am also going to go ahead and build up claims on the Teutons. And we did just get a claim on the province of Stetten here. And against Stetten. And Brandenburg just got all of this back. So Newmark and all that stuff. They are allied to Denmark and Magdeburg. Man, Denmark is, uh, they're allied to our two big rivals here. Okay. Now Poland, uh, I'm going to favors with you. Might as well do the same with Lithuania here. We'll lure our army maintenance. We're not at war. And also in case Poland decides to attack the Teutons, I'm just going to mark Stetna its vital interest, so hopefully they give that to me. And Poland's attacking Wallachia. Okay, interesting. They did get Moldavia, so good for them. Okay, and we can get Diplotech uh, for so let's go ahead and do that. We can finally start building up some marketplaces. We almost have enough favors with Poland here. And almost Lithuania, too. This is the second time I've gotten this event now, and I'm loving it. I love getting free stab. And now we got Miltech 4, and then we got Admin Tech 4, and we got 10 favors with Poland. Which, if we were to attack Staten, yep, Poland and Lunaburg would both join. So let's go ahead and prepare up the armies, because I'm assuming Poland's going to attack Livonian Order very soon. And of course, I don't want them to do that. I will also hire the free company just to have some additional guys. And let's go ahead and attack. Uh, <laughs> two tons have 10,000 guys. That only has 4,000. They have 1,000 cavalry and then 3,000 cavalry for the two tons. So, yeah, I think this should be a pretty easy war. Let's do it. We're going to go right on to this battle. Even though we don't have morale, I really don't care. Oh, and we can get trustworthy allies. So, might as well do that. Stack wipe. Move our air here. And our <laughs> we just lost one of our trade ships. Nice. Austria, of course, we are just going to continue to improve relations with. This way, they don't uh, decide that they really don't like me later on. And Renaissance did just appear. We aren't getting it, any institution spread whatsoever, but the province of Stettin is. And the reason why we're not getting any institution spread is even though we're bigger than Stettin, we actually have relatively similar development just because these two provinces are kind of high dev oh and there we go now we're losing staff okay and we did just take the capital of staten i'll get rid of the free company they're just costing us more money at this point and we'll finish off the two tons which poland is about to take konigsberg and konigsberg is ours okay so out of this peace deal with the two tons i'm going to make them end their alliance with denmark and mecklenburg along with giving us some war reparations. I'm going to have them give the province of Kolm to Poland, and then uh, give me all their money. As for Stetton, we're going to go ahead and uh, vassal... No, I'm just playing. We're going to full annex them. I don't want to vassalize them. 
And now that we own that, we get our permanent claims in these two areas here. And now we could actually form Pomerania. Oh, this is nice. So even though we didn't core those provinces, we lose 10 years of separatism and autonomy in Stargard and Stet. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Now we're Pomerania. We're Pomerania green. And we got a little bit of a cooler flag. And now we could, if we really wanted to, we could actually reform into Prussia, which I'm not going to do. This is all about Pomerania and showcasing Pomerania and their ideas and their potential. Or even if you don't decide, or if you decide not to form Pomerania and you want to stay as Mecklenburg, Stettin, or Wolgast, then you kind of know what to expect. All right, now we're going to kind of chill for a little bit as we build up more favors again. So then that way we can be beat up on Mecklenburg. Lunenburg, they pretty much owe us 10 favors. So we'll get back to where we need to be with them. And again, we are in the HRE, so you got to keep one diplomat on outraged countries at all times. And I'll lower the autonomy again in these provinces. So now we have zero, almost zero autonomy here. Okay, and that time has come for our tier 2 uh, government reform. So typically, I like choosing the Noble Officer Corps here, and chances are we're going to be actually relying relatively heavily on Mercs here because, or plus, we're going to be playing kind of tall after we take over loot back here. Um, what other options do we have here? Honestly, I think our best bet is strength and noble privileges, just so then that way we could get 15% more manpower, especially for the early game here, even though. Again, we're going to be playing relatively tall once we conquer most of the loot back here. And I do not like how Gotland keeps raiding my coastline. And I have to do something about this. Okay, and now we actually completed the high income uh, mission, I guess. So now we get cheaper construction costs, and we'll take that and build our very first marketplace. In terms of our country, we do have two trade uh, important provinces for trade. We have Stralsund here. Uh, which is a natural harbor, and we also have Stet. And we got this really nice event here where Renaissance actually grows in Stetton for boosted up to 25%. So that's really nice. And one thing that is also nice about Pomerania is that uh, they actually have some really, these two provinces here that are good for Renaissance and colonialism development. Even this coastline province of Rugen, you know, everybody knows Rugen because of the Pyro Republic is really good. I mean, the Woods provinces aren't the aren't the best for devving, but they're about the same. Well, actually, a little bit more expensive. But if you want to min-max this, obviously, Woolgas and Staten are going to be your best two provinces. In fact, at some point, I actually might move my capital to Staten, and they'll make this a little bit cheaper. And I really die. As soon as I said that. In terms of rivals now, we are going to rival the Teutons. We have a truce with until 66. Now, because I don't want Poland to own a lot of this, I'm going to at least set these provinces here as vital interest. I should have taken Danzig. And now we're fighting Hungary. Sure. Why not? I'll help you out, Poland. I'll help you out by staying up here to deal with my Polish or my Pomeranian noble rebels. I got a 0-1-2 error. Um, yeah, no. Uh, you know, Southern Baltic Sea... Here it's a lovely place this time of year, you know, in the middle of March, you know, all the flowers are blooming and stuff. And I hear that the water itself is uh, is very nice, uh, Boleslaw Griff. So, yeah, how about uh, you take a trip there? As I mentioned earlier, I am going to move my capital here to Staten because it is a cheaper province and it also has a port. Or it will make it a cheaper province to develop. Just have to wait for this war to end and the Bohemia is... It got a lot bigger, and even the Pope owns Provence. And our ruler died. And we got a 412. And Austria just declared a restoration of the Union on Hungary. And Sicily also took a big bite out of Croatia. Nice. And here we go. There's Danzig. I'm assuming two times. Yeah. Ah, no. Yeah, I should have taken Danzig. I, I really should have. That's fine. We'll come back for that later. Okay, that war with Hungary is over. Poland did just take a very large chunk out of Hungary. So Austria is not going to be doing so well this game when they take over Hungary. Let's move our capital to Staten. It literally lowered it 
down by one monarch point. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but at least we got a capital of fort, and now we're going to encourage Dev here. Bumps it down to 48. And let's go ahead and start Deving for the Renaissance. And now we are in Ostrogoski, which is the Polish dynasty, I guess. And Hungary is now under a PU of Austria. Good job, Austria. And we got a 1, 2, 3. <laughs> so we're back to what our previous guy was, pretty much. And look at that. Poland, you just had to take two of the provinces I wanted, and now we got Ducal Prussia. I will remove those as provinces of interest, because I want to keep Poland for right now. They just claim my throne. Poland. Poland, baby. Sure, Poland, you want sailors? Take all the sailors. And Burgundy just died, and now they're under Brittany. Nice. Oh, and my alliance with Poland is ending, but they lost a claim on my throne. And they broke their alliance with us. P -p Poland, you lost the claim on my throne. And now they want to ally me again. Okay, Poland. Yeah, let, let's be friends again, man. And Lowlands will be released. So Brittany, they still own Burgundy, but it's down here and they're fighting France for it. Good job. I hate how my country, I can't re-ally Poland because my country doesn't like Poland enough. But what I'm going to do is ask for military access. There we go. And that should do it. Austria wants one. Fine, Austria. It's, it's fine. And Hungary has joined the the Empire. Good for you, Hungary. Alright, and then let's see. Some land. Alright, and we did just get Renaissance along with Military Tech 5. And what's going to end up happening here is I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, they don't want to do this anymore? I was about to say, I'm going to call in Poland with the promise of land on Brandenburg. But now they don't want to help anymore? Okay. And now the Ottomans are invading Austria. Oh no. I'm just gonna you know, again, Austria, you, you got this man. I am your moral support. I got your back. Just not actually gonna help you out here. <laughs> oh, and it, really the Ottomans are gonna show up? Bro, I'm not even fighting you. And now my guys are going to retreat all the way down to Vienna. Lovely. I swear, Ottomans just like beating up on people for no reason. Okay, now for our very first idea group. <laughs> I'm going to hate myself for this. But I'm actually going to choose naval ideas first. Now, why am I going to choose naval ideas first here? Well, for one, we got to compete with Denmark, Sweden, and Norway who all have larger navies than us, and also the Hanseatic Leagues, who combined has a larger navy than us. Um, so this will help out with our naval leader shock, galley combat ability. Well, this is going to help us take over the Baltic because of the galley combat ability, morale navies, and uh, also too it helps that we're going to get free naval barrages all the time. But most importantly, with naval ideas is uh this is going to pair it up with economic ideas which economic and trade are our next ideas that we're going to take here uh though that's going to give us an additional 10 percent goods produced and plus 10 percent production efficiency though alternatively i could just take quantity right now no no we're going to take quantity actually i lied i'm sorry yeah okay, we're going to do quantity Trade economic, which they change economic and quantity, so it gives us more land force summit. All right, so our next military idea will be naval ideas, and we're gonna go ahead and focus on mill. And now Brandenburg has Bohemia, bro. Poland, if only you actually helped me out, man. And now France is attacking the HRE. Oh my God, what I get for allying the emperor? What are we even at war with here? Just all the French guys. Okay, and two towns just got full annex. Okay, now I got I got Ottomans and French people here, and for whatever reason, Austria is refusing to peace out, even though they're losing by a hundred percent. But I guess on the plus side, we get to have our tier three government reform here. We're gonna go with a centralized bureaucracy here. Thank you, Austria. Now my whole country is gonna get full occupied. France, can I just give you stuff, and you'll leave me alone? I don't know if I want to give you all my money here. 
I'll just wait it out. I'm kind of stuck here. Uh, none of my allies would help me against Mecklenburg. I would only get Lithuania to help me against Brandenburg here, but that's clearly not enough bodies to help me out. Oh, Sweden is free. <gasps> now Poland's attacking Novgorod. Bro, you're just going to snake up the whole entire coastline? Okay. Go, go for it, Poland. And we can choose our very first age ability, which we're going to go for Justified Wars. Okay, and what I'm going to do next... I'm going to go ahead and attack Mecklenburg, because Verdun won't join them, so let's go for this. Stack wipe them there. I'll move off of this and take that battle, actually. So I'm ahead of them in tech, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, we won that battle pretty easily. And also my war with Hamburg, which I can't get to either them nor Dishmarsh said. Oh, I could call him Brunswick, finally. Oh, thank you, Brunswick. And Poland just full annexed uh, Ducal Prussia. Poland, if you just took Lithuania, you would have been the strongest nation in the game right now. And I love how Brunswick comes into this war, only to get sieged and dragged down my war score. Thank you. Thank you, Brunswick. We did just get Military Tech 7, so we are two ahead of Mecklenburg. One ahead of... Hamburg and Dishmarston. I did also hire one more mercenary stack that actually has a better general. So, once he gets morale up a bit here, we're going to go for this. Oh, yeah, that, that, that was easy. Alright, Hamburg. Uh, hopefully you have a lot of money, because I took up... I don't have any money. I'll humiliate you. Let's do that. Dishmarston, you're low. Alright, at least Mecklenburg surrendered to me so we'll go ahead and do that we'll annex them idea wise yeah so i'm going to take trade ideas next we that'll help out our financial situation this brandenburg guy they need to go man sure i'll take your ruling dynasty or 235 okay he's 20 so not the worst normally they're like great stats but they're like 50 years old this case this guy's like okay stats but not super old also i love how lithuania has my old dynasty so there was actually a good chance i could put a personal union lithuania <gasps> i could finally get poland to help me Poland. oh we finally outnumbered these guys um but i like my odds though it's gonna be denmark norway bohemia oh wait no just norway yeah norway's there Versus Bohemia, Magdeburg, Saxony, and Gosling. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We outnumber them a decent amount now. Alright, let's attack for... Which province is in our node? This one. So let's go ahead and attack for that province. And... Oh, almost... That was a nasty battle. Honestly, I'm just going to give Bohemia two provinces from Poland. Because... My AI allies are just stupid. They're not helping me. They're abandoning my army every chance that they can. And Bohemia is the emperor. And here come the Protestants in the cell. Okay. Cool. And Denmark wants out. Oh, they actually got it all the way over here. I'll wait till my al- or, No, Denmark's about to take that fort. Uh, Denmark, give me war reps. And whatever money you can. Or... Gee, is there any alliance I want you at? Give me the one with Russia. Yeah, let's do that. Brandenburg. You're done, my man. Finally done. Yeah, that, that should be it. Alright, let's do this. Oh, and an alliance with Bohemia. I don't want them to be friends with Bohemia. Or Denmark anymore. AE-wise, not to... Our ruler died. 235. Okay. And now... Okay, Lithuania. Yeah, we can put your heir on my throne. A 143. And now I got my... My original dynasty back. Okay, cool. And he's an amazing general. He's a 4521. Yes. Finally. Maybe it's because the Griffs are coming back. And colonialism is here. But on the plus side, we now have reclaimed the frontiers. In terms of Protestant, England went Protestant. It looks like Nassau is the only country. Oh, and Sweden went Protestant too. And my heir died. But now I got a 225. So no more Grift. And I will start my Golden Era because we are going to be playing up until about 1600 when Global Trade starts. So I have about 100 years here to try and become the dominant 
Pray power our own mo like all of Luba. Now Loonberg. I'm gonna go ahead and attack them. I'll call on Austria to help me out. This should shorten up the truce with Brandenburg, right? 1516. Oh, uh, uh, maybe. They actually might lengthen it. Uh let but yeah, let's call on Austria. We haven't fought a war with them just yet. Lithuania, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna help you against Poland. Poland's more of like an immediate ally. Alright, now Lunaburg. Uh let's piece you out. Full we'll annex you. Now, uh yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna attack Sax Lundberg. How many favors does Austria owe us? Yeah, I'll call them on just to just to have them help. Bohemia, screw you. <laughs> or else I would dismarsh then who's a free city? I might just take them. No. That's not a good idea. I'm gonna get really bad AE. No, I'm just gonna take this province. So. You know, we're about to be plunged into religious turmoil. Exactly what I need right now. Sure, Austria. A 543. Oh. It's 21. Oh, that's not bad. And a ruler died, but we got that 543 in charge. I am a okay with that. And <laughs> Poland and Brunswick want to attack. Oh, Austria, come on. Poland, sure. I'll tell you that you can have land. Brunswick, what land do you want? Sure. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll say uh say you could have land for Denmark. I didn't even realize that they re allied Brandenburg. Uh strike for a tolerant society. I haven't had it in a long time, but of course we're gonna get it on this playthrough. Alright. Uh Denmark. I'm just gonna take these three provinces here. Uh yeah, that should be fine. This way I have a relatively short truce timer with them. And we are at war with Bohemia? Why, Poland? Let's embrace colonialism. It only took us long enough. Ugh. This is what you have for having my army just mothballed over here. Okay, and our war is with Poland, or with Bohemia, is now over. Uh, Bohemia will give a bunch of provinces over to Poland. Silly. And will also release out Moravia. And our ruler died. And now we're about to complete the trade idea, so we get an additional merchant. Plus trade paired with quantity gives us 20% more goods produced. And I did just get my claim on Denmark, uh, so I'm going to call in Poland and Austria. We're going to go ahead and beat them up. Okay, for a peace deal with Denmark, we're just going to take these four provinces. And while we're at it, we're going to launch another war here. Call in Austria. We're just going to make Verdun here. This war is literally just so we can make Verdun on ally France. Actually, I could just straight up annex these guys. I think. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to full annex for Den here. Not really anybody would join a coalition against me. Bohemia? No. I'm not giving up to anything. Right now, for our next idea group, we are going to go ahead and go with economic ideas. And printing press is a thing. It spawned in Derby in England. You know, it's like always supposed to be in germany not this game man in terms of total trade value we are almost at the 30 ducat mark here at 27.1 and bohemia is now in a union and austria is now the emperor again that's not terrifying at all and what i mean that's not terrifying i mean poland's not terrifying oh we got russia hi russia all right, and let's go ahead and attack Denmark for the province of Finn. This is going to call in Dishmarshton, which works out in our favor because then we can just annex them without attacking a free city. And here comes the Danish, da oh, cool, oh, few Danish ships. Let's get, oh, and we're fighting this battle. This does not look like it's going to end up well, no. Uh, go to the capital, please. <laughs> In Poland actually established naval superiority over the Danes. Alright, we'll just take these three provinces and then a bunch of money. And in terms of money, we're making almost 30 ducats. We're making 24 ducats from trade right now. Oh, and our heir died. Okay, give me a church, I guess. Hopefully I don't get personal union here. I think my ruler's pretty old. I'm so glad that Austria broke their alliance because they just got attacked by the religious leagues. Nice. But we're not getting involved in this. And from Sweden, we actually need quite a few provinces. All right, Mr. Poland, uh, break your alliance with Sweden. Awesome. We got some Danish separatists. Also great. 
All right, so I did just re-ally Austria. And that's going to bring me into this war. Uh, am I at war with Sweden? No. Oh no, our ships. Ugh. A bunch of British ships just showed up out of nowhere. And our ruler died again, and we got our 243. And a 453 is in there. Nice. Ooh, and printing press finally appeared in one of our provinces. Uh, this one. Danish one. Okay, and in terms of trade now, our trade node is up to 32.8 ducats. Uh, we own about half of the trade node. However, we're competing with England. Basically, still the same trade nodes. Even with Constantinople now, too. Alright, and for our next war here, we are going to go ahead and attack uh, Lubeck here. Oh, Poland. Oh, Poland did just owe me favors. Come on. Forgot. I didn't realize that uh, I only had like 10 favors with them. And Great Britain's still at war with Austria right now. And we can finally get printing press. So let's do that. Get the next couple techs. And we're going to actually take naval ideas here. Now, why am I taking naval ideas? Well, other than just being a meme idea, uh, actually they pair up pretty well with economic ideas. And they give you 10% production efficiency and 10% goods produced. So that's going to help out with our trade quite a bit. Plus, dealing with nations such as Sweden and I guess Poland, who actually has a pretty big navy. Um, and even if, you know, if Sweden and Britain are allied to each other, it's going to help out uh, dealing with the British Navy as well. I also... I eventually do get this naval force on a modifier, so we got to kind of get there too. Oh, and Lubeck is fighting some rebels. I think that they're actually going to lose that, which if they do, I'll just go ahead and attack them. Yep, they lost it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's attack Lubeck. Trier wants some land from Lubeck? What? Let's call him Brunswick here, and yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, attack them. And we'll attack Lubeck and probably annex either Bremen or Hamburg or both. We'll see what happens. I will call Trier in with the promise of land, even though they can't take anything. Or let's just they have the extra guys. I also didn't realize, and I kind of forgot that with Lions in the North, that we actually have a wonder in uh, Denmark's capital. Uh, gives us plus one mercantilism for a thousand ducats. That's really not... This wonder really is not good. The only good thing about it is that naval combat local bonus off own coast you know an idea group is bad when even the ai doesn't choose it and so because of that we're going to gain innovative innovativeness off of naval ideas and this war is over uh well let's what, what would happen if i were to annex hamburg here well, that's a decent amount of a uh what if i were to take bremen a little bit less e so let's take bremen here now for hamburg if i were to take this province all of europe would hate me so instead we're just going to take all of the back or we'll separate piece them out so hamburg i'm not going to take your money in fact i'm just going to force religion and have you transfer trade power and give me your money so i can't make them give up their trade I could have them steer their trade towards us. And then I'll force my religion on them. Perfect. Okay. And we almost own the entire Lubeck trade. No, no, we just have to fight Sweden, Norway, and East Frisia along with these three little guys here. And in terms of money now, we're making over 50 ducats in trade. And our ruler died. And we got a 334 concert regency. That's not the worst, though. Now, East Frisia here... Uh, yeah, I'm going to beat you up. Alright, East Frisia, I literally just want this one province. I really don't care about, like, fighting you anymore. Any less. Uh, uh, yeah, we can force a religion on you. Why not? Uh, be 160. Oh, oh that's why. It's like a 20 death province. I didn't realize it was that big. Okay. I guess you can have some of my money. Alright, we got a 453 ruler. Ooh, and a 544 heir. Nice. And our ruler's a scholar, too. Oh. This man's about to take us to greatness. 
and now we're making 57.79 our trade note is now worth 37.9 ducats uh make it 39.9 and now we're making 60.96 bremen also is an upgrade so let's do that now that brings us up to 63.10 and our trade note up to 42.7 ducats we're still behind oh my god seville is at 64 oh no yeah there's no way <laughs> So I think spawning global trades probably not going to be happening this game, but obviously we'll still take over all of Lubeck. We're making so much money and we only have 400 development. We're actually the eighth uh, highest income in the world, right below Poland, interestingly enough. Uh, but we're really close to the next three, so, so to be honest, we should be like right below France. We're going to war with Sweden. We're going to call in Austria and Trier. And yeah, we're going to do a conquest on Skane. So let's do it. Hopefully naval ideas with the 25% uh, galley combat ability really comes in handy here. One thing I do like from naval ideas, however, is the free naval barrage cost. So I'm really excited for that. Oh, there goes my navy. The English navy's here. And they're going to get sack wipe. And bye bye. We need how much war score? 92. Coalition wise, yeah, we're gonna get a large coalition. Do I care? Not really. Austria up here taking care of the Swedes. Oh. Poland is attacking Russia. Russia, who has 157,000 guys with 179,000 in reserve. Poland with 100,000 with 91,000 in reserve. Why? Who did they get? Bohemia, Moldavia, and Gauntlet. Poland, why would you launch this war? Especially because I'm not going to help you. Unless they're hoping that my war ends and then they call me in. Looks like Poland is actually doing okay. It's Russia to win it by 11. Let me just double check that these are all the provinces I need to own. All of Sweden and Norway's Lubeck. Yep, that is it. And let's take all their money. That's some good Pomeranian name placement if I've ever seen it. You're probably also wondering how I got a third diplomat here. It's because I just completed the Imperial Ambition event or mission because Trier was a voting for me, I guess. Trier's calling me this for sure, but I won't do anything. Because I really don't feel like it. I also have to lower autonomy in these areas. That's definitely going to help. We'll upgrade this trade center in Elfsborg. And the one in Akershush. And now we'll lower autonomy in like every single province that we own. And now because of that, we're at 54.7 ducats. Seville is at 70. English Channel's at 64. Oh my god. Still loving how every time we invest in enable ideas, we get innovativeness. We're also making 87.30 ducats a month from trade. And global trade app. I guess Sevilla. Yeah. So that is one of our objectives. Unfortunately, not going to be completed this game. We gave it a good run. We got Lou back up to 57.9 uh, total income. Meanwhile, Sevilla is just, it's at 75. I, I just can't compete with that. But we are going to go ahead and finish off this campaign by completing our other objective of conquering all of Lou back. I will also complete up economic and naval ideas. So then that way we could see what that goods produced and production efficiency would look like uh, with a Pomerania that is like this. And our ruler just died. And we got a 544 ruling us now. Which ain't bad at all. Polish crusade against the Ottomans. What? Oh, uh, shit. No. I'm not going to help you. Don't feel like it, Poland. I'm sorry. All right. Finally complete economic ideas. Okay. And time to complete up naval ideas. So here we go. Uh, now we could get uh, with naval paired up with trade. We get light ship cost minus 10. Ship trade power plus 40, which is really nice. We could also get that production efficiency uh, plus 10 and goods produced plus 10 because of naval and economic. So we're making 90, 92.79 from trade at the moment. We're now making 
And our trade note is now valued at 64.2. Man, that would have been a big help earlier on. We are making 107.92 ducats a month off a of trade. Oh, we're a great power now. We have another free merchant from what? Full trade focus. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before in my life. Now let's do a free naval barrage because that's my new favorite thing. Okay, and we did just take Berlin, which means we could take Dishmarsh then. So let's do that. And we are immediately going to go to war against the Lubeck and Hamburg. So let's go ahead and finish off this campaign. All right, Hamburg has fallen. Now it's just down to Lubeck. And like that, we now own Hamburg. And we now own Lubeck. Oh, well, I guess we also completed this mission. And also this one. Have a total navy size of at least 90%. Okay. We could perma claim all the stuff that we took. So I am going to call it here. Uh, we did complete the mission. Or well, we did complete uh, conquering. Well, we did complete our goal for today by conquering the entirety of the Lubeck trade node. Unfortunately, we were not able to complete our goal of spawning global trade as Sevilla is. <laughs> It's just the best trade node right now at 93.8 ducats. Our trade node's at 55.9. Our trade income is at 111.76. Uh, doubling both our taxation and production uh, income combined. That's pretty insane. And it's only 16.13. So not too, not about mid game at this point. In terms of military, we could have about 85,000 troops. We could also have 132 ships. We also did take the ship trade power doctrine, giving us an additional 33% ship trade power. We also took quantity, trade, economic, and naval ideas, giving us policies in trade efficiency, production efficiency, uh, goods produced, and also more ship trade power and cheaper light ships. In terms of great power status, we are number eight. And in terms of total income, we are the fifth uh, we have the fifth highest income, which we could totally surpass Timurids and France. If I were to probably play this for like one more year, we would probably pass up Timurids and France here. But yeah, uh, that is going to that is going to conclude our game for today. Hope you guys really enjoyed uh, watching Amerania and Underrated Raid Nation. In my opinion, it's one of my favorites uh, in the in the game and also in my opinion the best in the baltic outside of lubeck yeah it, for me it's between lubeck and also pomerania hamburgs and they're pretty good uh or is a pretty strong contender as well as bremen and riga you know, basically all the small little hanseatic trade league guys versus pomerania more or less so yeah if you uh but pomerania truly underrated nation with some good trade ideas again if you also wanted to form prussia you could i didn't feel like forming prussia because i just want to showcase pomerania themselves uh, but their ideas focus around basically just pure navy and pure trade so i hope you guys really enjoyed this and i hope you guys consider liking and subscribing to my channel i do release out two videos every single week uh, one video being underrated nations where we again this series where we cover nations not typically seen or played as uh, in eu4 and also now victoria 3 and if i have time throughout the week i may upload an additional video or two depending on how long and how much time i have hope to see you guys in the next one german out